Hello community, I hope you are doing good in this discussion. We will see how to migrate our Odoo 17 module to Odoo 18 module and we will also discuss upgrade underscore code CLI command. And in case you missed previous discussion about how to set up Odoo 18 in Ubuntu 24.04 LTS operating system, please check link is given in the description. And if you want to learn more about Odoo, you can visit the Wablens channel. Under the home screen, you can see Odoo 17 and in development tutorial. And right now we are working on this playlist. All right. And by the way, if you are a beginner and want to learn from the beginning, right, you can visit this playlist because this is the main playlist and those are the sub playlist topic wise available. All right. So guys, if you didn't subscribe this channel, please subscribe. It will help me a lot. Plus it will give you the latest notification about upcoming sessions. So let's back to our main topic here, how we can migrate our Odoo 17 module to the Odoo 18 version, right? So here you can see in our last discussion, we already successfully set up in our Odoo 18. And now you can see here, this is our Mac OS. And in our last session, you already saw in Ubuntu operating system, how to set up, right? So here you can see, this is our custom add-on 17 module. The many people's asking me like, uh, how I will migrate the 17 to 18 version, right? So in this session, you will get the answer, all right? If you see our module, right? This is very simple. Only what we did is like, we have just used the default ORM methods. Then after some views, right? And then after the security CSV file, and like, let's say some data files, right? And that's it. And you can see here the module, the manifest file, you can, see like this right and like that way we created like majority five different modules to understand Odoo from Odoo 17 right and now let's say if you want to migrate these five mo these modules in our version 18 then how we can do it right so by default we already created this weblands.config file here and let me add this file this not a file but the path right you can see like this and soft trap so now you can see like this now let me disable this service guys if you don't know how to start restart Odoo service using the pycharm please check editor level playlist or the last session i already explained how to configure Odoo in pycharm in a terminal first thing is we have to active our Odoo 18 virtual environment, right? And right now you can see here, we are in the Odoo 18 directory, right? So directly we can use here Odoo desk bin to active the service. So Python Odoo desk bin, and then after minus C for the configuration file and the weblands.config. And that's it. And now, I'm going to the front end side. If I will go to the apps, now you can see it's again started this error message. You can see here value error, module test, and invalid manifest, something like this, right? So here, whenever you are trying to migrate from your old Odoo older version to the Odoo 18 version, right? So you have to consider few things. The first thing is the manifest file. In the manifest file, if you guys remember, we already mentioned the version name. You can see this version name. If you mention something like this, then we don't need to worry about. But if you specify the specific version name, right, such as the 17, 16, 15, something like that, then we need to worry about because that part we have to change in version 18, right? In version 17 also, it's not working for your information. So let's say it says like value error module test. So this test module, if we check here the manifest file, you can see here it's given here the full version name, right? What is the existing version name is 17. So it's best I will use here 18. So this is the first case. Second case is we don't need to use this second case, right? Third case is we don't need to mention here the version, only we can just use something like this. That is also fine, all right? So here I'm, I'm trying to mention is 18, right? Let me minimize. Let me check this manifest. 
good to go good to go uh, you can see here it's all right and if you see here all right so you can see it's everything is working fine here let me close all these files right including these files also and now i will try to open and restart one more time and now you can see here it's working fine right and if i will go to here in the apps so right now you can see it's connection lost right so let's say if i'm going to here or let's say any of this link i have to first refresh the page first i'm going to here and let's say if i will try to upgrade like this and then after i will simple start student right and now you can see the list of modules available here and once i click to this activate so 100 percent might be you will get chance if you didn't migrate properly the specifically the tree view then you will get this error message now you can see here it says value error right wrong value for ir ui view type and which is the tree right now if you remember guys in version 18 so tree view replaced with the list keyword the tag itself right so you can see here we used here tree right in the tree view so this is the form view so like this now we have to mention here the tree view okay so for that you have to do a very simplest way which is Odoo provided by default so for that we can go to here in the terminal right we can control c then after here we so first thing is we need to remove this config file okay here we have to use upgrade code and then after here we we have to mention add-ons path and which path we have to upgrade right so simple is we have to upgrade these files so let me add here the proper path and then after once i enter you can see here i'm getting this error message right upgrade code error one of the argument script or from is required so for that like here we have to provide from and from like which version so i have to mention here 17.0 okay so here in your case if you migrating from 16 right so you have to mention here 16 like this and once i click to enter now you can see it will do some process and here yes we have to wait for a few seconds and now you can see it successfully upgraded this module the interesting part is you can see here it's existing odoo add-ons path it will also also automatically replace the tree to the list okay and now you can see here in this three file right you can see this three file automatically migrated so let's see here so this is the tree view right now you see automatically it's refreshed with the list let me close let me close and let me close this one and now you can see one by one you can see here it's a list interestingly we all it's also automatically replaced with the name tag also you can see here here you can see list right and you have to focus here right it's it's upgraded here we don't need to focus about here as a list because this is a simple name here you can add any name so we have to focus specifically here on it. that's it and now what we have to do is uh, one more thing is guys if you see here add-ons right now I will try to rename from 17 to custom add-ons only that's it and in my configuration file i want to also remove 
the underscore 70 that's it and now simple I will use this one and I'm trying to upgrade the module now you can see it's successfully upgraded and let's see here so you can see here we don't have anything right let's say student so it says cancel right something happened here so first thing is we have to check what is the exact issue all right so everything is good let's say again student account and base both are installed right and let's see the terminal so you can see here add-ons path right it's using it's not available here our custom add-ons so let's check here why so if you see here we didn't mention here our configuration file right so first thing is we have to mention here web lands config that was our problem right so let's restart and now you can see here now it will work fine and now you can see student right and you can see the new student also added from the xml file sunny leon school and if you see here the school you will also get one school here and for the hobbies see it's didn't mention here so that's the reason we it's empty here so like this way you can successfully migrate this 17 module to the 18th module all right and guys this code is also available in the github you can also get the link in the description all right so if you have any doubt related these two topics specifically for the upgrade underscore code cli command and migration part please comment below and see you in our next session